in this series on how I record, edit, and mix my personal audiobooks. Let's install the audio recording software that I use, SoundForge Audio Studio. Let's set up your microphone, like mine, and plug in your headphones to listen to your audiobook for all kinds of reasons. So you can start recording your audiobook at home like I do. Now, quick disclaimer. If you already have your chosen audio recording software installed on your computer already, a quality microphone all plugged in and ready to record, and your headphones plugged in and ready to hear your playback, well, you can probably skip this video. Otherwise, watch it to learn how to do these fundamental tasks so they're not so foreign to you and they make it easier for you to accomplish these steps at your end with confidence. Number one, how to install SoundForge Audio Studio. Now, to install SoundForge Audio Studio, if you have a PC or you're running Parallels on your Mac so you can run this PC-based software program, let's download the free trial version of SoundForge Audio Studio from their website, magics.com, to your computer and save it in the Downloads folder. Now, once downloaded, you can click this right here and open the software and install it, or view the downloads area and click it to install it. Now, it doesn't take long to install, maybe a few seconds, a minute, not long at all. Great, it's now installed. And we can start using SoundForge Audio Studio to record your audiobook. Number two, how to set up your mic. Assuming you bought one of these all-in-one microphone kits that I recommended, or you have something similar, let's connect the scissor arm boom to your desk like this. Insert the microphone into its holder like this making sure the back part of the microphone faces down facing the desk so you're recording and speaking into the right part of the microphone so it captures your voice correctly slide on the windscreen onto the microphone like this plug in the usb cable into the microphone like this plug in that same usb cable connected to your microphone into your computer usb port like this or oh, now, if you don't have any available USB ports, because maybe they're being used, your keyboard, a mouse, printer, who knows, you're going to need to buy a USB adapter that looks like this, and that can turn one USB port on your computer into four or more. <laughs> Here's the one I have. I'll include the link to it in the description box for this video. Now, just be sure that you have the right microphone chosen so your voice is recorded with the right microphone, your high quality condenser studio-like microphone, and not the default microphone that comes with your laptop or your webcam microphone. No, 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 no. And here's how to check. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the start button, click on control panel, and I'll go down to sound. And when I do that, a little pop-up window shows up. And you got these choices, look at this, playback recording recording is where you choose your microphone so in this case I've got my preferred default microphone the 2 AT 2020 USB plus default microphone here's the microphone that probably comes with a webcam here's the built-in laptop microphone and then here's like a headset microphone which no 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 and yes here it is and you can even tell it's working right now check it out yeah, awesome. Click OK. And you can start recording your audiobook. Now your mic is ready and set up to record your audiobook at home like I do. And number three, how to plug in your headphones. Well, this is pretty easy. For some, you might just plug your headphones right into your computer headphone jack like this. Or some microphones, like mine, come equipped to plug your headphones right into the microphone itself. Kind of nice if your headphones cable isn't long enough to maybe reach your computer headphone port, you know? Now, just be sure your computer is allowing you to hear your audio playback 
through the right headphone option. Click on the volume icon in your computer's system tray area right here and select the proper headphone option. For me, it's obvious. I'll choose my headphones to AT2020 USB Plus option because that's my microphone and the microphone has a headphone port of which I plug my headphones into. The other options link to my monitor, which has an audio port in the back, but I'm not using it. And my laptop's audio port, which I don't want to use that either, just for convenience sake. Done. Excellent. You know, when all this is done, your recording software is installed, your microphone is set up, your headphones are plugged in, everything's been kind of tested, it's time to start recording your audiobook, like I do, at home. Now, let me show you how to use SoundForge Audio Studio in the next video tutorial in this series. I promise the next video tutorial is going to teach you a lot about using audio recording software so you can master it and record your audiobook with the absolute highest level of lethal confidence. Come on, let's get that tutorial party started right now.